In this video, we'll discuss the 10 most powerful earthquakes recorded to have struck our great planet. We begin the list with the 10th most powerful earthquake to have struck the globe. This being a magnitude 8.6 that struck Assam, Tibet in 1950. August 15, 1950. 2.09 p.m. At least 1,500 people were killed across eastern Tibet and Assam, India, when this tumbler shook the region. Ground cracks, large landslides and sand volcanoes hit in the area. The quake was felt in the Sichuan and Yunnan provinces of China, and as far away as Calcutta, India. The quake caused large landslides that blocked rivers. When the rivers finally burst through the walls of debris, waves inundated several villages and killed hundreds of people. This quake is commonly called the Assam Tibet earthquake or the Assam earthquake, even though the epicenter was in Tibet. The quake struck at the intersection of the most vigorous collision of continental plates on the planet, where the Indian continental plate smashes into the Eurasian plate and dives beneath it. The slow motion crash helped create the massive Himalayas. Recent studies in response to the 2001 Bu earthquake, calculated that 70% of the Himalayas could experience an extremely powerful earthquake. The prediction came from research of the historical records from the area as well as the presumption that since the 1950 earthquake enough slippage has taken place for a large earthquake to occur. Next, we look to northern Sumatra. Indonesia where a magnitude 8.6 struck in 2005. This being the ninth most powerful. March 28, 2005. 2.09 p.m. More than 1,000 people were killed, with hundreds more injured, mostly in Nias, in northern Sumatra, Indonesia. The quake hit just months after an even bigger earthquake destroyed the region. The quake ruptured below the surface of the Indian Ocean, where the Indo-Australian plate is pushing under the Eurasian plate at the Sunda Trench, similar to the 2004 quake. Its effects were felt as far away as Bangkok, Thailand, over 620 miles away. The eighth most powerful earthquake struck Rat Islands, Alaska, in 1965. This was a magnitude 8.7. February 4, 1965. 5.01 a.m. Alaska had been a state for only seven years when this huge earthquake triggered a tsunami of over 30 feet. Despite its size, the quake caused little damage due to its remote location at the tip of the Aleutian Islands. The tsunami was reported in Hawaii and spread as far away as Japan. The Tembler was the result of the Pacific Plate diving beneath the North American Plate at the Alaska Aleutian Megathrust which has been a location of many megathrust earthquakes. The quake cracked wood buildings and split an asphalt runway. Hairline cracks also formed in the runways at the U.S. Coast Guard Lawrence Station. The seventh most powerful earthquake on record struck just off the coast of Ecuador, in 1906. This registered as a magnitude 8.8. .8. January 31, 1906. 3.36 p.m. A catastrophic magnitude 8.8 .8 earthquake ruptured off the coast of Ecuador and Colombia and generated a strong tsunami that killed 500 to 1,500 people. The tsunami spread along the coast of Central America and even stretched to San Francisco and Japan. The earthquake occurred along the boundary between the Nazca Plate and the South American Plate. It hit more than 100 years ago, so reports are spotty, but according the use, witnesses reported a huge rush of water in Honolulu Bay. All the steam and sailboats in the bay were turned around, and then a sudden flood tide roared inland. The sixth most powerful earthquake struck Mall, Chile, in 2010. This was a magnitude 8.8. .8. February 27, 2010. 3.31 a.m. At least 500 people were killed and 800,000 were displaced by the earthquake and tsunami that hit central Chile. More than 1.8 million people were affected and the total economic loss was estimated at $30 billion. Central Chile is still feeling aftershocks to this day. The earthquake took place along the boundary between the Nazca and South American tectonic plates. The earthquake also generated a blackout that affected 93% of the Chilean population and which went on for several days in some locations. The quake hit just over a month after the disastrous magnitude 7.0 quake in Port-au-Prince, Haiti, which killed more than 200,000 people. 
the fifth most powerful hit Kamchatka Peninsula, Russia, in 1952. This was a magnitude 9.0. November 4, 1952. 4.58 p.m. The world's first recorded magnitude 9.0 earthquake struck off the east coast of Kamchatka, Russia. The quake generated a 43-foot tsunami. The tsunami rocked Crescent City, California, which was also hit hard by the recent Japan earthquake. No lives were lost, but in Hawaii, property damage was estimated at up to $1 million. The waves tossed boats onto the beach, caused houses to collide, destroyed piers, scoured beaches and moved road pavement. Kamchatka has a rumbling past and many active volcanoes. It was also hit by an 8.5 magnitude quake in 1923. The fourth most powerful was the magnitude 9.0 that struck near the east coast of Honshu, Japan, in 2011. March 11, 2011. 2.46 p.m. A magnitude 9.0 quake, known as the Great East Japan Earthquake, triggered a tsunami that killed an estimated 29,000 people and damaged the Fukushima nuclear reactors. This earthquake is the largest ever recorded in Japan. Aftershocks continue to rock the island of Honshu. The aftershocks include more than 50 of magnitude 6.0 or greater, and 3 above a magnitude 7.0. The earthquake triggered a powerful tsunami with waves that reached heights of up to 133 feet. As mentioned, the tsunami caused nuclear accidents, primarily the level 7 meltdowns at three reactors in the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant complex, and the associated evacuation zones affecting hundreds of thousands of residents. Early estimates placed insured losses from the earthquake alone at 235 billion. The third most powerful, a magnitude 9.1, struck the globe in 2004. This struck just off the west coast of northern Sumatra. December 26, 2004. 7.58 p.m. This quake was the third largest earthquake in the world, and the largest since the 1964 earthquake in Prince William Sound, Alaska. In total, 227,898 people were killed or missing and presumed dead and about 1.7 million people were displaced by the earthquake and subsequent tsunami in 14 countries in Southeast Asia and East Africa. The tsunami caused more casualties than any other in recorded history, although some estimates say the death toll from the 2010 Haiti earthquake was larger. The tsunami was recorded nearly worldwide on tide gauges in the Indian. Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. Not only is this third largest earthquake ever recorded on a seismograph, but it had the longest duration of faulting ever observed, between 8.3 and 10 minutes. It caused the entire planet to vibrate as much as one centimeter. The second most powerful earthquake on record struck Prince William Sound, Alaska, in 1964. This quake registered as a magnitude 9.2. March 27, 1964, 5.36 p.m. Lasting 4 minutes and 38 seconds, the magnitude 9.2 megathrust earthquake was the most powerful recorded in North American history, and the second most powerful recorded in world history. This great earthquake and ensuing tsunami took 128 lives and caused about $2.2 billion in property loss and damages. The earthquake damage was heavy in many towns including Anchorage, which was about 75 miles northwest of the epicenter. The quake ruptured along a seismically active fault between the North American and Pacific plates. Landslides in Anchorage caused heavy damage. Huge slides occurred in the downtown business section and water mains and gas, sewer, telephone and electrical systems were disrupted throughout the area. Twelve people were killed by the tsunami in or near Crescent City. California, while four children were killed on the Oregon coast at Beverly Beach State Park. Other coastal towns in the U.S. Pacific Northwest and Hawaii were damaged. Minor damage to boats occurred as far south as Los Angeles. Effects of the earthquake were even noted as far east as Texas. The Florida Everglades, an artesian aquifer located near Lake Shakika saw its water flow rate double from 3 million gallons per day to 6 million gallons per day. 60 to 90 minutes after the first shock of the earthquake. The most intense and destructive earthquake experienced hit Chile, in 1960. This earthquake registered as a magnitude 9.5. May 22, 1960. 
1 11 p.m. A magnitude 9.5 stuck Chile. The earthquake lasted approximately 10 minutes. It is estimated that between 1,655 to 6,000 people were killed during the largest earthquake ever recorded. Thousands more were injured, and millions were left homeless. Southern Chile suffered between $3.2 to $6.4 billion in damage. The tremor caused localized tsunamis that severely battered the Chilean coast, with waves up to 25, 82 feet. The main tsunami raced across the Pacific Ocean and devastated Hilo, Hawaii. Waves as high as 35 feet were recorded 6,200 miles from the epicenter, and as far away as Japan and the Philippines. Tsunamis killed 61 people in Hawaii, 138 in Japan and 32 in the Philippines. The earthquake ruptured where the Nazca Plate dives underneath the South American Plate, on the Peru-Chile Trench. And that's it for this edition of the Earthquake Report. If you experienced an earthquake today, or if you would simply like to chat, please post down below. I would like to hear from you. Feel free to post about anything that is on your mind. Make certain to like, subscribe, and share this video. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. Have a great day. Stay safe.